It's coming. It's coming? Yeah. <laughs> the cold weather. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's probably our nice last day. For about two or three days. For a few days. Then it starts warming back up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're going to try to get a couple things done here right quick. Well, do a little couple things this morning and then we're going to... Then we're done. Then we're going to see Grant. That's right, we got to go see Prince. Because they're celebrating his first birthday today. Yep. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we'll shoot some video of that too. This is the, the rack that we've been working on to get built. Let me give you a side shot of it here. And it's 37 inches long all together, and there's a reason for that. And it's uh, a tad under 24 inches tall, the rack is. And basically, I guess you could say it's more like a cabinet that we're, and all, everything's gonna be housed in here. Uh, and I'm going to kind of briefly go over it with you. And I know it's kind of hard to imagine here at first uh, for these uh, Vatra batteries how they're going to work. But keep in mind, these batteries that we're talking about are the Vatra uh, 48 volt slash 52 uh, volt uh, rack mount batteries. And they are uh, 100 amp hour uh, rack mount batteries at 48 volts which would be equal to 400 amp hour batteries at 12 volts. So yeah, it depends on, you just do the math, but we'll talk more about that again as we get deeper into the project. But if you'll notice here, the batteries are gonna mount here and they, they weigh a little over a hundred pounds each. So one of them will mount here and rest on this, the rack ears which we'll show you more about that when we get the battery slid in here and in place. But the rack ears are gonna screw in right here uh, on this, what I call rack rail. Now I made this rack rail out of a hardwood. This is poplar. Uh, everything else is, you know, sanded pine plywood and most everything else is pine, but the actual rack rail, quote unquote, uh, I made that out of uh, some hardwood so it'll hold a screw better. And of course we got one over here too because there'll be a rack ear screwing in right here and a rack ear screwing in here and the same down here and here. So we'll have two batteries, one laying across here going that way and the face will be here in the front and the same thing down here. All of the components will mount uh, on this console board here, the main components like uh, primary secondary bus bars. So we're gonna be using uh, two uh, 20 amp uh, charge controllers, Victron uh, 20 amp charge controllers, uh, one charge controller for each set of uh, 200 watt panels that we have on top of the van. And this will all be mounted here along with uh, a shunt and a series of breakers and so on and so forth. We'll also have uh, a couple of breakers probably mounted up on the side. I'll figure out more about that, you know, later. But these will be the panel breakers so I can kill the signal from the panels uh, going to each individual charge controller. Uh, the inverter is going to mount right here. And it'll be vertical right here uh, up against here. And uh, uh, the company that I've been using and have had zero issues with, along with a couple of friends of mine, is a company called Reliable. Uh, they have since come out with a new series. Uh, we're going to go with a 4,000 watt inverter mounted right here. And then, of course, the, uh, the, the, the wires coming off of it, the AC wires coming off of that will will come off and go up and head back to the uh, to the uh, to the breaker box that is at the far end of the van right with number 10 or 10 gauge wire so that's just basic and we'll go over all this when we start wiring it all up and everything we're going to take you along for the ride and we'll go through stuff uh, step by step as we wire it up and uh, so I'll be opening myself up for nitpickers. <laughs>
which there will be. <laughs> and I Everyone already has know an opinion. Uh -huh. Everybody has an opinion. Uh, some will say I didn't need to use as many breakers. Some will say I didn't use enough breakers, you know. <sighs> anyway. Uh, but we'll take you through that. We'll take you through, uh, you know, mounting the lugs on the end of the cables and the, the tools that uh, uh, I use to do that. And uh, so on and so forth. But we'll, we'll go through the whole thing. Anyway, but that's what it is. Now what we got to do, uh, we're going to enlist some help from a friend of ours here in the campground here in a little bit. But we're going to, we got to unbox the other battery. Uh, go ahead and put the rack ears on them and get them ready to go. And uh, then we're going to slide them in, screw them into place, and then slide this into the van. Over here. And uh, I've made a spot for it. It's going to slide in right here. The whole, the whole thing is 20 and a half inches wide. And this petition, I took out part of this petition right here. But once I get this thing in here, I'll be able to uh, re-support this part right here. Now, eventually, we intend to uh, redo all of this back here and start over. So that's another reason why uh, I built this... Uh, this system here in a way that we can slide it out slide it back in and uh, you know so it's uh, portable I like to refer to this as a power module really is what I like to refer to it anyway we're going to get started on that okay. so we're going to put the camera down for a little bit and do that and then we'll come back a little bit later well we got it in yeah with yeah. some help from friends yeah <laughs> Yeah, it ended up taking four of us to, to, you know, the initial setup to lay the batteries into the rack and then, then slide the rack into the van. Because not only are the batteries 100 pounds each, then the here we go. Cabinet Bill built is probably a good 50, 75. No, it's so, not. <laughs> I bet it is. It's we not. should have weighed it. The cabinet's probably about 30 pounds. No, I can lift 15 easy. <laughs> I I lifted the I could. <laughs> It was heavy. It's strong. Well, of course it's heavy it's to you. It's strong. Yeah. Yes. And it's strong. I'm pretty strong. Well, yes, you are pretty strong. She is. <laughs> she is. Um, but thank goodness few we years had... ago, A few years ago, I had bruises that could attest to that. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness we had some um, nice neighbors yes. and a nice park attendant that uh, yeah. took pity on us. <laughs> yeah, this is true. We did. Okay. So, so let's, I'm going to show them what it yes what it what it looks like yes here we go anyway here it is right here let me get up here and sit down and i'll kind of go over a couple things with you here uh but there's where the batteries mount of course right back there and got the rack ears mounted supported by three of these beams going across it and those are two by two beams and they themselves are supported by some other cross members underneath them so uh so yeah there's uh it's it's really strong everything's all screwed together and here again all of the components are going to be mounted here the inverter will mount right here and uh, probably over here i haven't fully decided and i'll know more about that when i start to you know cutting wires and everything and putting things into place but over in here we'll at least have the panel breakers uh two panel breakers there so we can shut the power off from the panels to the system when necessary and uh but this is where it's going to go we still have storage behind it uh we're going to have to figure another way and there is another way to access that and what we'll carry behind that will be uh, items that uh, we don't need immediate access to but we'll be able to get through it by emptying this storage section out you know if 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 need be or we can get to the area behind there by uh, pulling the driver's seat all the way forward and then we can easily get back in there as well so anyway but and we utilize a lot of this storage in here anyway so uh, and when we head off to Florida we won't uh, we won't be carrying as much stuff as we normally do we've got a storage unit now so some stuff we're gonna leave 
leave here until we get back in the spring. So anyway, that's that's what we got going on there. Uh, we'll start as weather permits because I'm going to have to do everything out here outside. But as weather permits, I'll be working on it and we'll take you through the steps and do a few little videos along the way. So anyway, that's it. And like I said, eventually we'll be tearing all this out and starting all over with a whole new setup with larger auxiliary tanks and everything. So now we get to go head into Rogers here in a little bit. Actually, Bella Vista. It's time to go see the Prince. Yeah, go see uh, Prince Grant. <laughs> <laughs> little stinker. And we'll shoot some video of that too. All right, but for now, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know exactly what we're gonna say. Wow, you look stunning today. Hmm. You do. Well, that, that's not really what I was gonna say. But, no. <laughs> but you do. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> I just now had time to notice. Uh, we're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there, do some living. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.